Hi guys, hi my fellow June bugs. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again in this video. Today I'm really excited to share this video because I have got two gorgeous, gorgeous Fendi handbag reveals to share with you guys. And I thought I would also do my Fendi handbag collection just to get started a little bit on my updated handbag collection, which I decided I will probably do in parts. So a lot of you guys have been asking for my updated handbag collection, so I'm finally doing it. But do subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you get notified of any time I do upload a new video. Um, but before I start, I just wanted to say to anyone who is new here, hi, welcome. My name is June. I am a by day but I do have a serious addiction to handbags and in my spare time I love to create videos and talk about handbags with you guys so if you are a fellow handbag lover like myself you will love it here so do subscribe and join my little YouTube family and without further ado let's get on to the um, Fendi handbag reveal I will start off with that because I'm actually really really excited to share them with you they are just two gorgeous gorgeous bags that literally made my jaw drop as soon as I saw them my heart skipped a beat it was love at first sight so this is the first one I wanted to share with you guys it is a vintage venti you probably can tell from the packaging this bag I purchased from a rebag which is a um, American online consignment store I purchased this off their eBay website and um, they do have their own website and an eBay store I think on eBay they have a lot of sales that go on there because I got this um, heavily discounted and also I have seen some amazing steals on their eBay website I will put their link in the info bar below I've seen Chanel flaps for an absolute steal I actually saw a gorgeous gorgeous brown one and it was selling for like three thousand five hundred Australian dollars I seriously was gonna get it but then I thought girl do you need another classic flap and before I could even re like consider within 30 minutes the bag was gone so um really really good deals on their website if you want to check it out but let's open the bag it literally came with everything which was such a good unboxing experience so this is the box right here opening it up it's got the Fendi tissue and then it's got the Fendi dust bag you guys already know from the bag from the box that it is a Fendi baguette but which one? Because the beauty of the Fendi Baguette is there's so many iterations of it. I actually think I really want to start a Fendi Baguette collection. Shout out to Babsy who has the most amazing Fendi handbag, Fendi Baguette handbag collection. I'll put her link also in the info bar below. But are you guys ready? Please welcome my latest Fendi handbag edition and it is the... Da -da -da -da. Oh my god! Isn't she absolutely stunning you guys it is a fendi baguette in the beautiful sequin in champagne gold uh it has got beaded like trimming on the corners here as you can see there in the interior let me just open it up lined with the exotic um leather there python leather i think and then interior is um just in silk so this bag is an absolute showstopper it is in gorgeous gorgeous condition there is no wear or tear on this I don't even know if the original owner used it um, it is just so so stinking beautiful you guys probably saw that on my Instagram I've been watching a lot of sex in the city and this was primarily the inspiration behind this purchase I saw that she had like a sequin or a beaded bag I wasn't quite sure she'd wear it around with like the simplest outfit and I just saw this and I had to purchase it it's actually quite hard to find like Fendi secret and baguette in good condition for reasonable price. This I purchased for about uh, 1600 Australian dollars and then plus shipping and duties it came to about just under 2000 Australian dollars um, which look it's a pretty penny for a vintage bag but it is in beautiful gorgeous condition and I just I had to have it so I got it. <laughs> Um, this is so stunning you guys it is in the most beautiful champagne color so it's going to be perfect for like an occasion bag I was initially going to wear this as a day-to-day -day bag but seeing the exotic leather and the sequin design on this I really just don't want to damage it in any way so I think I will reserve this for more special occasions and I actually think I might wear this for my brother's wedding because it is so gorgeous so that is it such a showstopper, stunning, stunning piece. So happy to have her in my collection. I think it's pretty much the same bag as the um, the iconic purple 
Fendi sequin bag. Um, I love that bag and I actually, if I ever find it, I will certainly purchase it um, for a reasonable price. Um, and I really like the vintage style of that because I know they reissued it in like the newer Fendi baguettes. I love the vintage baguette. I love like the length, the shoulder drop on this, the size, like I just love everything about a vintage baguette. So that is my first one. And moving on to my second Fendi reveal, it comes in this dust bag right here. This one I actually purchased from The Real Real and they have an amazing selection of like vintage Fendi baguettes. So if you are on the hunt for a vintage Fendi, um, they actually have a really, really good selection for a reasonable price. Like I've looked in a couple of places and The Real Real definitely has the most um, incredible selection. I saw this and literally purchased it. As soon as I saw it, I just, I could not pass it up. I just thought it was the most perfect bag that I had ever seen. And when I received it, I literally, this was a bag that made my heart stop for a second. I was just like, whoa, this is too gorgeous. So, so excited to share this with you guys. So excited to wear it. And you guys just had to see this bag. Are you ready? So this bag, again, purchased from The Real Real. Please welcome another Fendi baguette, like duh. Um, and it is the... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> guys you guys do you see this do you see how gorgeous this bag is okay let's just take a minute it is a fendi baguette gorgeous gorgeous beaded fendi baguette in like this white silvery like reflective beaded detail and then it has got white leather trim with silver hardware so beautiful and stunning um this bag weighs an absolute ton it's so heavy like it's the heaviest fendi baguette i've ever received and the condition of this is absolutely mint you guys like no wear and tear no scratches nothing no missing beads beautiful absolutely gorgeous and then opening it up the lining, it's actually a suede lining on top there, if you can't tell. And then the interior has just this beautiful bright yellow lining. And this one's a little bit different because it's got like this um, Fendi sort of little, little mirror that comes with it, which is pretty cool. Like um, that's functional, but it does make this bag weigh an absolute ton. However, in saying that, it feels really, really sturdy, like for a beaded bag, like they did not muck around making this bag. Like the beads feel like they've been sewn on really, really well on this bag. Um, but yeah, this is just so, so gorgeous. Like no faults whatsoever. And I absolutely cannot wait to wear it. It like works well with my outfit. Now it is the cleanest like white bag that I've seen. And I'm just, I love a good white bag with silver hardware. I just think it looks so cool so like fresh and modern absolutely love it and this one is just going to be a like spring favorite for sure this bag i purchased for um two thousand australian dollars and then plus duties it was sort of about two thousand three hundred and fifty which is a pretty penny for this bag but hey ho this literally made me so happy receiving it and like I just, yeah, I couldn't pass it up. Like, I, I really couldn't. And no regrets whatsoever at all with this bag. So, those are my two Fendi reveals. Do let me know what you think in the info bar below. I am seriously addicted to Fendi baguettes. I really want the um, Half Moon sequin baguette, but I want it in, like, the purple sequin color. And I also am looking out for the Fendi Sherling baguette, the first one that they came out with, not the... The newer one but the original one with like the um shoulder strap i really really want that one but they're so expensive so i'm on the lookout for a really reasonably priced fendi baguette um so um that is my two reveals shared with you guys now i'm actually just going to quickly move on to the rest of my fendi baguette collection because i am obsessed with fendi baguettes i think they're so cute and functional um and i have a little bit of a collection firstly i wanted to share this baguette here so this is the um fendi zucchino baguette with a like the pvc canvas i love this one this, this is definitely my favorite baguette in my collection apart from the two that i've just added this was my most used baguette last year one of my favorite details about it is the fact that it's got gold hardware which is hard to find in a fendi baguette they're, they're all they're often always with silver um, and this one is in the zucchino print so it's um that small ff logo purchased this i think early 2020 
20. This is such a, just a really basic Benji Baguette, but the reason I love this one so much is because of like the canvas. It's PVC, so you don't have to worry about wear and tear. It like absolutely looks good with everything and the colorway on this is just like so rich and golden. I absolutely love it. One of my favorite Fendi baguettes and this one I really do recommend if you're looking for a Fendi baguette. Um, this one I think you can get for about 1500 Australian dollars which is how much I purchased it for including duties and shipping. Um, Alright so and then the other Fendi baguette I have another Zucchino Fendi baguette. This one I actually got as a gift from Vintage Amour. Um, beautiful chocolatey brown and then it's got like this really beautiful gunmetal hardware there really really cute bag I do really love this one however I'm not sure if I should sell it because these two are very very similar um, this is a gorgeous bag though and because it's cloth like it's really easy to use and wear the wear and tear on this is really really good there's barely any like scratches for a cloth bag so Fendi bags honestly are so well made I'm really really impressed so that's that one and then the last vintage Fendi baguette I have in my collection is just this one here this I believe is fur I don't know if it's real fur or not it does feel really luxurious and like soft but some say it's rabbit fur some say it's faux fur not 100% sure but it is sort of like in an all black design I love this one for that reason it's just so sleek like no one would know that this is a Fendi baguette because it's just there's not much to it black leather on black um, hardware black fur detail and then in the interior it's got like this beautiful gray silk lining um, pretty standard Fendi baguette obviously this one I got from eBay and I think I got it for a really really good price at the time I think seven or eight hundred Australian dollars which was pretty good because I don't think that this was super duper popular at the time but I saw Mel Soldera wear this and I just had to have it it was such just such a beautiful bag and I love wearing this with my velour Fendi strap um, just sort of spices it up a little bit so those are my vintage Fendi baguettes now I wanted to share with you guys my latest Fenty baguettes. So the first one I guess is this one. This one is the um, latest sort of version of the Fenty baguette. This is just the Fendi Zucchino print. Um, as you can see, wildly different from the original. Um, this one is a lot bigger, a lot wider, and it actually comes with like this detachable strap. Um, and it's got this removable top handle as well. This is definitely more like of a satchel style um, bag, but I absolutely love this. I wore this so, so much in 2019 because it's just so easy to use because it's cloth you can pretty much like fold it on itself pack it in your bag like you don't have to worry about it creasing and it fits so so much like it really is such a great grab and go bag i also love the fact that it's got two handle strap options which is such a great functional option that fendi have added so you can remove this strap here and this just have it as a top handle or you can remove this top handle and have it as a crossbody or you can remove all of them together have it as a clutch and you can mix and match like different straps on it as well um, the wear and tear on this is not too bad because I know that I was quite worried about it when I first got it but um, I do rotate my bags a lot so I will wear this for a good amount and then I'll rotate it with something else so I wouldn't have expected it to have that much wear to be honest um, the interior is pretty basic it's just the same lining um, so yeah there's nothing too much more there's no outside pocket which I think would have been really good for this bag like just to have a pocket on the back and um, make it more functional you can just slip things in and out of it but that is the Fendi um, newer baguette. I do really like this one. Um, I do really recommend this one also if you guys are interested, especially given the price of like the vintage baguettes. They are pretty expensive. Um, this is a really good functional option. Um, and then the last Fendi baguette that I have in my collection is this gorgeous mini baguette right here this is sort of like in this bright tiffany blue color i think people are referring it to as um it is sort of like greeny 
greeny blue. Um, so this one was an addition um, in early 2020 also. This one is probably my least worn Fendi baguette um, purely because of the color. I do really love the mini itself. I think it's such a gorgeous cute little bag. Um, I know Mel has it in the white. I think the white would have been an amazing option but um, I kind of wanted to add color at the time. Turquoise aqua colors are not sort of what I gravitate towards. I find them really hard to style, but I just I want to keep it in my collection for a little bit longer and see how I can wear it and style it because it is a really cute functional bag and a great alternative to the mini. The leather on this is beautiful, absolutely stunning, and it's like a calf leather. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like lambskin, so it's really durable and just, and it is really beautiful. And again, it's got like the detachable two straps here, which is awesome. So you can wear it as a clutch or a crossbody. Um, so that is that one. And those are my Fendi baguettes in my collection. Um, moving on to the rest of my Fendi bags. I only have a couple more. So you guys have already seen this one. This is my Fendi backpack. This I purchased, I think in 1819, I can't remember. Beautiful vintage piece, definitely very hard to find. It's um, a convertible backpack, so basically you can take these straps off. Really cute option if you prefer to wear your backpacks like that. I rarely do that. Um, I like my backpack as a backpack, but it's a, a really great bag to use. S-lock type closure and then opening it up, it's just got a drawstring, it's got Fendi written on the grommets there. And then this also has a little pocket at the front that you can put like cards, um, coins, money, whatever. Really, really cute, gorgeous bag. It's got feet on the bottom. I think I got this for a thousand Australian dollars. I did do a handbag unboxing or reveal on this. So I'll put that in the info bar below. Beautiful piece. However, I've also recently added this Fendi backpack to my collection. Don't ask me why. Well, actually, I know why. I just saw it for a really good price and I couldn't pass it up. So this one, another Fendi backpack. Very similar to the one that I just shared with you, but this one's just a more traditional backpack. There's no detachable straps there, so you can't actually convert it. It's got the FF logo there and it's just all in Zuka print. One of the great things about this one is it's got this... Um, opening on the side so you can actually access the um, main compartment from the side it's got no sort of feet on the bottom um, and I do think that the size is a little bit smaller uh, it's pretty similar actually um, and yeah pretty simple design um, but because I have two I'm actually think I'm selling this one and just keeping this one. I haven't quite decided yet because um, I do like the design of this one more, but I don't know if I like the black trim. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the way this one opens is just by this magnetic closure um, and then it's just got a drawstring also, which has Fendi on the grommets. But yeah, pretty simple backpack. And then the last but not least Fendi handbag in my collection is this gorgeous vintage tote. I absolutely love this tote actually because this tote is one of my most worn Fendi bags probably. I do love a good tote and this tote I purchased for an absolute steal. I think I purchased it for like 550 Australian dollars. I can't be sure. Um, I'm sure I did a video on it. I'll put the link to it in the info bar below. Um, this actually is in really, really good condition for for the bag. Um, it's in this PVC canvas style, which does mean it's sort of as durable as the Louis Vuitton um, canvas bags. Um, there are a lot of like Fendi totes, but not in this PVC style. They're sort of in cloth, which is good but they also do wear a lot faster so I really wanted a PVC design and I really like this one because it's in the sort of vertical style tote which I kind of wanted because I already have the never, never full which is sort of a more horizontal tote um, or an east-west tote. Only wear and tear is really the straps which unfortunately is sort of just due to use. The glazing on this has worn away so you know obviously the um, canvas is sort of um, wearing out a little bit as well. I don't know what I can do to actually repair it. Um, I might actually have to take it to a cobbler just to get it reglaze. I'm sure that's not an issue but everything else is actually really really amazing like the um, the actual canvas itself is not ripping at all which you know you find with Louis Vuitton bags so I don't know what they've done different. Maybe their canvas is just a lot more like 
malleable but this is actually a really good quality like tote bag so i love this one and i love like the um bright yellow trimming on this as well so that you guys is my fendi handbag collection i didn't include like accessories or slgs on this just because i wanted to just do handbags there is one more fendi bag i want to add in my collection i already mentioned it but it is the sheer link so if any of you guys have that one the original style with like the long strap please let me know i really really want to add that to my collection and if i add that i might actually let go of this one because then it'd be very very similar but haven't quite decided yet so anyways you guys that is it from me i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did um let me know what you want to see next from me let me know which one's your favorite um bag in my collection are you also a fellow like baguette lover which one's your absolute fave and also if you have a fendi baguette collection do let me know i would love to see it or tag me on instagram share them with me i would love to see um and that is it from me you guys as always hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.